After three months at home in Kenora, travel restrictions were lifting, and we were invited to visit Manitou Weather Station Lodge for the very first time. Muskie, lake trout, and walleye were the goal. We could not have hoped for more memorable four days. Oh, did he just yeah, eat it? it. Run! Oh, that's big! Oh, 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 oh. oh no, oh no! I mentioned it before, but the best part of my job is the places I get to visit and the people I get to meet along the way. I'm so blessed to be able to visit outfitters from all over, and the halt in travel was a major change of pace from the norm of what I was used to. This trip came with an excitement that had been building for months. I could not wait to get back on the road and visit a Northwest Ontario gym. Guys, we are back on the road. It has been three months since we've been on any sort of road trip. COVID has obviously had major effects on, you know, many different things. And one of the biggest things is traveling. So we've been at home, but now we're back. So we're off to Manitou Weather Station Lodge. We've made the three hour trek down the 502 highway. And now we're turning off onto the gravel. Once we get to the lake, we have an hour boat ride to our final destination to the lodge, which I am so excited about. I'd been in talks with Chris, the owner, for a while about coming up. And when COVID hit, their guests, most of them are American, so I had to cancel. So I kind of had cream of the crop to pick any dates I wanted, and I wanted to pick musky opener. Sam and I are going for musky opener. We're gonna spend three or four days there. And uh, yeah, we'll check in with you guys when we're back on the water. We're almost there. Do you know where we are or where we're going? Too many bugs. So we're there and we're boating all the way up till there. Okay, bye Sam. How are the bugs? Sick. The Manitou system is big. From one end to the other, you're looking at about 40 miles long and 13,000 hectares of fishable water. Manitou Weather Station Lodge is situated right in the heart of all of it at the north end of Lower Manitou Lake. After about a 25 mile boat ride that owner Chris had mapped out for us, we'd arrived at the lodge. We made it, we made it. Is there dogs? You Sam, you were gonna love this place. There's dogs. There's two of them, all two right. golden. Let's go check out the cabin. We have our own private dock, as mentioned. This is our sunroom. Beautiful. That's where Jay will sleep. <laughs> our second deck with barbecue. Panoramic view. This view's, yeah. Of Manitou. It's huge. This is big. Yeah. You're gonna have a lot of people in here. Big couch, full kitchen. Stickers. Stickers and flashlights. Yeah. Big pretty table. Watch big it. table, big map. Check-in room number one. How many beds? Two, three, four, five. Closet dresser, very nice. Six, seven, eight beds. We should sleep in every bed on this trip. We get, we're gonna have our own separate room. <laughs> you do snore. Bathroom, shower. Nice. Wow, everything. All right, take me to the main lodge, Sam. This is beautiful. There's a spider, do you see it? No. It's in your hair, it's in your hair. Stop! Ouch! That. This is pretty cool. All right, well, we found the main lodge, just heading back. I got a map from Chris, the owner, awesome guy. He marked some weed beds, he marked some rocks to not hit. He marks some rocks to fish. And I'll fish with him later this week. I'll introduce you guys to him. But for now, we're gonna go check on Sam at the cabin and get some gear ready. I don't know if I've ever fished muskies on opening day in Northwest Ontario, but we're changing that today and we're at a pretty good place to do it. And I got a pretty good partner. She's even wiping down the boat seats. This is full service. <laughs> Good morning. We, we planned this trip kind of around, we wanted to fish for everything here, but 
today's opening day for muskies. That, that's going to be the focus. Uh, I'd love to catch a big walleye. I'd love to catch a big largey, but muskies, um, yeah, Sam, Sam needs a great big one. So Sam, what are you starting the day off with? Super juice. I meant what lure? <laughs> Wait, what's super juice? Tea with caffeine in it. You got the small dads and bucktail. Very nice. And I got two options here. I got the, this is called the Shadillac. And <gasps> the fly rod. So we'll see. Um, it's a little tough to work the Ultrex uh, and let Sam fish ahead of me. I might try to have her fishing right beside me so she can get first cast. We'll see how this works. I'd, I'd love to fly fish out the back corner if I could, uh, you know, keep the trolling motor on constant or something like that. But first spot, little neck down area recommended by Chris and the crew, Chris and Aiden. And uh, yeah, we're kind of targeting near spawning water. I think they're still gonna be close in the shallow bays. Any, any emergent weed growth could be key. We got a beautiful day. It is 7.26 in the morning and this is the start of musky season. Yeah, I think this will work. I'm gonna go barefoot. Barefoot's best with fly line. And you can feel what's going on. Wouldn't it tickle? It might tickle, we'll see. First cast of the musky season. Watch that bait you got there, Sam. Hour one. Haven't seen any fish yet. A bass and a perch. Oh, we saw, yeah, we saw a bass and a perch. There are fish. This is some clear water. This is some of the clear, probably the clearest musky water I've ever fished. Fish, fish, fish. Keep moving, keep moving. Nice fish, Ham. Keep it moving. Wider turns, this fish is gonna eat. Keep it moving. Oh, he hit it, eh? Yeah. Keep it moving. He might come back. That fish was so aggressive. So aggressive. Is that good? Are you okay? Okay, keep casting. I don't think you stung him, like. No, I don't think so either. He kind of darted off, but. Okay, we're gonna kind of just chill for a second. We'll pull off. We're gonna let that fish just reset. I'm gonna grab the fly rod and then we'll go through here again. That fish was charged up. You can tell a mood pretty quick when a muskie comes in. That one was just ready to eat. And he was turning so sharp back and forth and back and forth and just didn't line up a good angle. It, it hit at Sam's bucktail, but, uh, and then swam away. But he's here and he didn't get stung bad. It's a good sign. Two hours in maybe, two and a half hours in. All right, guys. This is where we saw it. It was, I don't know, it was a good fish, probably between 40, 42 and 45 maybe. We know there is a muskie in this weed bed. Does he want to bite again? That's the question. On these super clear lakes, like this is a lake trout lake. This is deep, crystal clear, and it can, it can be pretty tough to get, to get the muskies going sometimes. The mood on that first fish was phenomenal. So hopefully they're all kind of charged up like that. But sometimes you just get these low, slow follows. Sometimes you get fish where you can do nothing wrong and they're still gonna snap at your, you can do everything wrong and they're still gonna snap at your bait. Yeah, get it girl. We're filming. Guys, welcome back to Fishing with Jay and Sam. Uh, we had one close encounter with a muskie and that about sums up our day. Been driving around. This lake is absolutely stunning, but it's new, we're learning. We have one spot we know where a muskie lives. We will go back to him again and again and again until we catch him. Other than that, we've seen a smallmouth or two, a couple little perch, a couple pike. One bite can make the entire trip. That's muskie fishing for you. Wiggle, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam sexy and she knows it. Fish, fish. I think it's a muskie. I think it's a muskie. Yep, 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 yep. Come on, baby. It's not big, but it's our first muskie Manitou weather station. <gasps> Come on, baby. Oh! <laughs> we got it. We did not get skunked. Opening day and we're on the board. All right, got the crankbait out. Cute little muskie, opening day. Northwest Ontario, and this is a beautiful little spotted muskie. I would say 30, 
34 inches, 32 inches, pretty small. Got a good shot, Sam? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll put a bag right here. Future 50. That guy did not like you. <laughs> that was sweet. Um, that fish just hit as soon as it landed, the, landed on the water. I mean, I don't know if we have too much of a pattern because that's only the second fish we've seen, but both fish we've seen have been very, very active. Sam's very active in the figure eight. This one, one twitch and the fish, uh, fish chowed it. This is a super shadow wrap. I've caught a couple muskies on this now. Um, and yeah, just fishing a rocky point by the mouth of a spawning-ish bay, trying to figure out a pattern. The weather's changed, which could be a huge factor. Um, we're gonna head back to the lodge in a little bit, and we're gonna stop at where Sam had that really active fish before, because I, I still think we can catch that fish. He didn't get stung too hard. So, but first, first we gotta finish fishing this spot. So, enough talking. Well guys, we know a muskie lives there. We will come back to catch him, but hey, uh, we fished from seven till four, caught one, and had a very close encounter with another. I don't know guys, we're gonna head back to camp and might go fishing this evening, yeah, we'll see. All right, here we have the main lodge. Beautiful, huge map of the lake. Big musky, big laker. Check this out though, guys, right here. The big fish leaderboard. I'm leading the musky category with a whopping 34 incher. We kind of just guessed how big it was, but look at some of these fish. 31 inch walleye, 19 inch largey, a super massive sucker. That's that's real big. Yeah, those are all pretty impressive fish. Other than the musky, hopefully we're gonna upgrade it yet. Let's look at some of the fish here on the board. There's some pretty, uh, pretty impressive pictures here. Yeah, I'd be fine with one of those. Or one of those would be nice. Maybe one of those. All right, well, guide Aiden was out with his family today and my fish on the leaderboard lasted for about uh, an hour. What'd you say, a 45 and a 43? 45 and a 44. 45 and a 44. Yeah. 45. And you guys fished how long? Three hours, four hours. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, I'm probably gonna fish with Aiden before the end of the trip yet and he'll show me a thing or two, but. I got a couple spots under my belt. A couple secret spots. Uh, I'll be blindfolded maybe. I'll blindfold you before we leave. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> June. 20th. What was the hot bait? It was a uh, black cowgirl. Black cowgirl, there you have it. The name Manitou Weather Station came from, well you guessed it, there used to be a weather station set up at that exact location, now converted into a fishing camp. I love the layout. With four cabins, every cabin had its own private dock spread apart to make you feel secluded and all connected by a beautiful walkway leading to the main lodge. Cast number one. Our second full day at Manitou Weather Station Lodge. There he is. Keep it moving. Whoa, yeah. I, oh, it's a pike. Is that a musky or a pike? Uh, I think it's, I can't tell. Oh, it's a pike. It's definitely a pike. That was exciting. All right, here we go. First bite in the morning, that did not take long. Sweet. It's not a muskie though, but hey, that was pretty exciting watching it charge both side. But let's put it back. <laughs> All right, he's going back. You feeling good? Next step, muskie. Sam's so throwing a bucktail, I'm throwing a crank. We are uh, fishing some weeds, some rock combo. Uh, Aiden, the one guy that lit him up yesterday, said weeds were where he was raising a lot of the fish. So uh, he marked up our map as well as Chris, the owner, and we're feeling good. I like this weather. This is like cloudy, sunny, cloudy, sunny, kind of unstable. I've just had my best musky and pike success with days like this. See that? Yeah, there's a little pike. You get so intense right away. <laughs> <laughs> What? Visor and a head cam? Yeah. 
Dang, boy, you styling. We are in the danger zone. This is where Sam's pet muskie lives. Any cast now. All right, this is it. Hooking a loon on this cast. Yeah. Why are there so many pike? At least it wasn't a loon. There he is, there he is. Man, he was a little bit far behind. He might still be there. You can cast out. Hundred percent, that was him. Exact same spot. We saw him. All right, we're on the walleye program. New part of the lake. Fishing a giant weed bed. This big sandbar, actually. And I marked some fish on site imaging. This weed bed is huge, but I marked like little pods of fish here and there. And yeah, I'm gonna throw a swim bait. Sam's gonna jig and leech. I'm probably gonna float a slip flow through here too, but feeling good. Got my bobber set it right at eight feet. So that leech should be just tickling the top of the weeds. Where's my bobber? Where's my bobber? Where's my bobber? My bobber might be down. Fish on, fish on. Uh, it feels like I haven't felt any head shakes yet. Oh, I think we got something big. Oh, it's a pike. It's gotta be a pike with that run. You don't know that. This net is way too... I don't think uh -oh. it's a walleye. <laughs> could be a muskie. This could be a minute. <laughs> Can't believe I haven't seen it yet. Nice walleye, real nice walleye. <laughs> I don't think it's crazy big, but it's it's a nice fish. This net is too big. Ooh, oh. that's a nice walleye. That's a good sign, guys. Bobber down on the weed bed. All right, hook is out. First Manitou walleye, and it's not a small one. Beautiful, I don't know, like 23, 24 inch fish. So good, we just got to the spot, trying something a little different, trying a little shallower for them. There he goes. I knew that if we did walleye fish, it wouldn't be a numbers deal. It would be a big fish thing. And I mean, for the first walleye, that's fantastic. Yep, she's on. Ooh, that's big. Oh boy. Take your time. Yeah, 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 this is a big fish. Get it up, get it up. Nice. <laughs> I think that's bigger than mine. Wow. Show me the fish first and we'll throw on the tape. Right there, that's the spot. Good fish, baby. All right, let's throw on the board. I'm saying 24. Even shorter, maybe he's fat. 22, just 20 under 20. 21 and a half. All right. Yep, bobber down. Oh, oh, this is good. This is a big fish. This is a big walleye. This is a big walleye. Okay, get ready. <laughs> that is just. Insane. Get ready. Okay, this is it. Oh, it's big wall. Oh, <laughs> that's a fat one. Oh, they're getting bigger. How nervous are you for the net job? I was a little I was nervous. pretty nervous for you. Like I mentioned, this isn't about numbers. This is about size. And look at this fat toad on the slip bobber. Oh, she wants to go. <laughs> I'm so happy, I'm so happy. These big fish fisheries, they're never a gimme. Even, you know, the most remote lodges, you have to work for the fish sometimes. That's, that's a big old fish, and I don't know what else to say. I made the day. Oh no, when you press the record button. Are you on? Jeez. So we're rolling with the 5D. I'm gonna try to net this with one hand. This is gonna be insane, Sam, watch out. Are you sure it's not big? 
<laughs> Are you positive. sure it's not big? <laughs> well, I didn't even get the big camera set up after that last one. Where are you Wow, going? that's big. Lift, 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 lift. Oh, oh, oh that's, that's bigger than mine. <laughs> Sam, the walleye slayer. Man, that's a big golden beauty. Wahoo! Nice, there we go. Things are turning around. Jig and a leech. Jig and a leech. We need to get fancy. Well, Sam? Yeah. Do you think any rain's coming? I think it's a very good possibility, Jay. Here's the spot, I'm gonna give you a little more breakdown. You can see deep on the left, deep on the right, shallow in the middle and weeds. So it's, on side imaging you can see a little better there. It's probably 14 feet deep and three feet of weeds on the bottom. It would look different if we're moving, but I'm keeping my float right at that nine, eight feet of water, so it's just drifting right above the weeds. Sam's jigging right in the middle of it and it seems to be working for her, but. Yep. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Of course it's big. Of course it's big. <laughs> Storm's rolling in and Sam decided to catch another monster. <laughs> I thought it was a small fish and now all of a sudden it feels big. All right, rain's coming back. Another walleye, Mantu Weather Station Lodge. <laughs> they're all thick, they're not skinny gross fish, they're healthy, they're gold. Where's my bobber, where's my bobber? Fish on. Oh, oh Sam. I don't know, this feels so big. Oh my goodness. Oh, these runs are just terrifying. That's the big, oh, that's just absolutely gigantic. This is a whale. It's coming up right now, right now. Holy smokes! This, this walleye is just immense. You guys ready for this? <gasps> Look at that fish! That is why we came here. The stories are true. Oh, thank you, Chris. Thank you, Aiden. Look at that gold. Sunset Country beast. If Sam and I didn't catch another fish for the rest of the trip, we would have been completely satisfied. That morning of walleye fishing was just incredible, and those were some of the most beautiful, fat, golden walleyes I'd ever laid my eyes on. All right, you film me. You can sit over here. <laughs> <laughs> Sam has now slept in every bed in this cabin. <laughs> You're making more work for them. I'm testing it out though. I have what to do you think? good honest reviews. And? This one is the perfect napping one because the sun comes in, makes the bed all warm. Oh. <laughs> Guys, this is a very uh, unique year, as you know, with everything going on and the border is closed. This, this lodge is, most years would be mostly Americans. Is that I'm gonna hold the camera? Thank you. Sitting with Jay. Most fishing lodges would be a lot of Americans uh, coming up. And now with the border being closed, it has just absolutely crushed the outfitting industry, the tourism industry, and it, it breaks my heart. Like it's it's a lot of my friends, a lot of these people I've met over the last you know number of years in this industry. But there is a silver lining. There's there are some some happier things about this. For one, these lakes are getting way less pressure. These fish are going to have an amazing spawning year. Um, they're not going to see nearly as many lures. But the other positive is for Canadian residents like myself. You have a chance to come to these lodges during prime time, during dates that normally weren't available. When, when I asked about coming during musky opener, he said, sorry, we're booked up. You could, we looked at some other dates. Now the COVID hit, we were able to come during musky opener. But now it's time to support these outfitters and you get experience prime time dates on incredible fishing. Um, and a lot of these places are giving deals as well. So uh, as a fishing community, support outfitters, support fishing guides, support local tackle stores. Anyways, that, that's my little spiel. We, uh, we're, we're getting dinner cooked for us tonight, which is very nice. I heard steak, maybe. We're gonna head over to the main lodge, but first I'm gonna have a nap. Which bed will we use? I don't know, we're gonna, we're gonna make them. Highly recommend that one.
<laughs> we gotta go, it's dinner time. Let's go. That made it seem like I was the one that laid down for a nap. I actually wasn't. Well, Sam, no offense to your cooking this week, <laughs> but the crew here at Mantu Weather Station whipped up a pretty mean looking meal. Thank you guys. Welcome. All right, Sam. Huge offense, Jay. <laughs> Huge offense. All right. All right, we got the big dogs out now. We got owner Chris. We got our head guide. Are you head guide or no? Oh. Uh, or is there, are you the head guide? Not me, that'd be him. Boy. Aiden? Sometimes. We're <laughs> it's just been crowned head guide Aiden. This, this year, yeah, this is my year. <laughs> so we've got some muskies lined up for us. Oh, you betcha, we're gonna right. get on them. The weather is looking medium, but that could be good for the fishing. And Sam's taking the evening off and we're gonna go chuck some musky baits. Here we go. The three of us had such a great night on the water, swapping musky tails, learning how they fish these waters, and just getting to share a boat together for the first time. The light was starting to fade, and as we were fishing our way back towards the lodge, we only had a couple spots left until it was completely dark. Chris suggested checking out a main lake weed point, and that's where it happened. There's some weeds, yeah, and just started. Oh, did he just eat it? Run! Do you want me to be on the other side? Pandemonium. Come on, baby. Come on, Aiden's hooked up. That's a nice fish. Come on, Aiden. Show us a muskie. That eat was amazing. Figure eight musky, baby. Oh, that's big. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, oh no. Oh, oh, oh. that's got to be close to 50. I don't know, that's huge. Oh, oh, oh. unreal. Okay, we're getting the other camera out. We, I just started the other GoPro, it was amazing. Wow. What a beauty. Aiden, how exciting was that, oh, buddy? that was unbelievable. On the figure eight. Oh, man. Second turn. Big girl. Oh, show oh. me. Show me. Oh. Wow. She is a big girl. Figure eight, second pass. All right, let's put her on the board. Oh, that is... A 50 right there. Is that your first 50? That's my first 50. First 50 on film. Wow. Let's get over the side here. Prime time, sun setting behind us. Oh, wow. Look at that fish. Just minutes before Aiden hooked into that fish, I'd asked him, have you ever caught a 50 before? And it was so incredibly cool to not only be along for such a moment, but to be able to capture it on camera. What a special memory for years to come. So you finally broke the 50 club. Yeah, 50 club now, unbelievable. On film. On film to yeah. boot. On film, yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. What a day, 29 inch walleye, 50 inch muskie. Yeah. Crazy. And we took a two hour, I took a nap this afternoon. Oh, even better. Yeah. <laughs> right, so we're back to where we crushed the walleyes yesterday. We didn't get to spend as much time as I would have liked here yesterday, so now we're gonna put in a solid effort. We have nothing we need to be back for. So I'm gonna show you what I saw yesterday on side imaging. If there's fish here, if there's not, we're gonna keep going. But we drove through this area that uh, Chris had suggested and we saw fish on side imaging. Otherwise, we would've kept going to check out other spots. But I'll show you kind of what to look for when you're looking for walleyes on side imaging. And then we'll hopefully catch them. So right now, it's just flat bottom. Weeds are coming in. And you got some weeds sticking up, pretty obvious on the down imaging. That's definitely a fish, so let's pause that. Right there, guys. Hopefully this focuses. There's the fish, there's the shadow. This is a really soft bottom, so that fish sticks out very well. Yep, she's on. She called it. There we go. <laughs> They're still here. Rolling up her sleeves. I don't like wet sleeves. 
What do we got? First walleye of the day. And they're all big apparently. Nice, 24 incher, 23 incher. Beautiful. There he goes. Whew. Number one. What you using? All right, I'm gonna rig up another slip float rod. First thing I did, tied on a long chunk of eight pound fluorocarbon. The thing is, I'll show you right now, this uni to uni knot, this knot right here, connecting, connecting the braid to the fluoro. I won't be able to slide the bobber stop over that. So basically I wanna put enough fluoro so I can go as deep as I wanna go without having to go past it. So for example, if I know 12 feet is gonna be the deepest I'm gonna be, then I, I should have at least 12 or a little bit more feet of fluorocarbon. So I think the deepest we're gonna slip float is 12-ish feet. So I tied on 14 feet of fluoro. And the next step you gotta do is put on a bobber stop. There's two types of bobber stops, the rubber type, the thread type. I like the rubber ones when I'm fishing shallow when that doesn't have to go into my reel. But when it needs to go into the reel, you gotta use the thread type. Otherwise, your line will catch on that bobber stop. So watch this. I'm gonna pass my line through this little straw. And then I'm gonna slide that thread off. There's two ends to this thread. And I'm just gonna pull it tight. And it's gonna cinch onto my line. So now this, I can slide up and down and that's gonna mark where my bobber will slide till. The next thing you need to do is you need a bead because if you don't put a bead on there, then your bobber may slide over that. Now that bead and thread combo is gonna stop your bobber. I could trim those edges as well so it casts even better. The brass ones slide a little easier. They have a little brass end on them, but I've used the type without two and they work fine. So you're gonna pass that line through the bobber. I'm gonna tie on my hook, just a small octopus hook here. Last step right now, so I got my bobber, I got my bobber stop and I got my hook, I need weights. So I'm gonna leave about a foot between my split shot and my hook so then the leech can swim around a little bit. And I'm gonna put a split shot on and then I'm gonna drop my bobber in the water and see how it sits. And then put a split shot on. Otherwise, if you just put a bunch of split shots on, your bobber may just sink away because you put too much weight on. Clipping one on, and you can slide it on your line and give it a pinch. All right, so this is how the rig's gonna go. And then wherever I slide that, that's where the bobber's gonna stop. All right, that, that sits okay. I'm gonna try one more split shot and we'll see if it's gonna sink it or not. Yeah, there it goes. All right, so one split shot it is. So right now I'm just gonna use my rod as a gauge. So I have the bobber stop at the tip and the leech is about a foot below. So right now I'm probably eight and a half feet down. The weeds are 10, I'm gonna drop it just a little bit more. Weights, so if that's seven and a half, that's eight and a half, so that's right in the nine, nine and a half foot. That should be right tickling the top of the weeds where I think should be right in the walleye strike zone. Hopefully the bobber will go down. Oh man, this girl, this girl, oh, oh, I just stubbed my foot so hard on the grass. Oh, did that hurt. Oh. Get it together, I Jay. Know. Dummy. No, no! <laughs> oh man, good fish. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's big. Nice. The Lumacraft is getting slimy on this trip. What's your key to success? Not using a bobber. <laughs> See, what I don't understand, Jay, is you drive around until you're right on top of a fish, and then you get a bobber and you throw it way out where the they're fish scared aren't. from the boat. They're not, clearly. <laughs> oh, fish on. What do we want? 32 inch walleye. Everyone is big. <sighs> Jay's first walleye of the day. About time. So since I'm just, I paused the screen. Since we're spot locked, pretty much you can see fish swing by. Look at this. You can see the fin, its tail. So there's, there's two fish on the right and there's one on the left that was just cruising by. On? Yeah. We have another beautiful Manitou Weather Station Lodge walleye. Oh, oh. We did it! This is the smallest one, I think. It's not that small. Can we eat it? No, too big to eat. I want to thank my fans. Jay, for always supporting me. Yup, yup, yup. Could it be a walleye? Could it be another 23 inch walleye? Beautiful. That's big. <laughs> Here we go. Net him, net him, net him, net him, net him, net him, net him. <laughs> All right, I'm giving Sam the credit for getting me to switch to the jig and the leech. How does that look? Big? Yeah. Fat? Huge. All right. <laughs> oh.
I guess we'll just keep catching them. I don't know what else to say. You're getting pretty good at that. Do you want to wrap up our, I guess the day isn't done yet, but our morning session? Morning session, it's four o'clock in the okay. afternoon. <laughs> we had a great day of walleye fishing. Jay finally succumbed to my will and started jigging. And that's when he started catching. We crushed him today. And he got the biggest one again today. What was it? 28. 28. Yesterday his biggest one was 29. Average size. I think the lowest one we had today was 23. Three, yeah, yeah. somewhere in there. Pretty crazy. I don't know if I'll ever walleye fish anywhere else but ever in my life. Stop it. No, I'm done. <laughs> this was it. What species have we caught so far on our trip? Perch. Muscalunge. Walleye. Smallie. Oh, and pike. They don't count though. You say that those are negatives. <laughs> we're trying to catch them all while we're here. What's what's next on the list? Trout. Lake trout. Maybe largey. Mm. All right, so when you would look at the Manitou system on a map, you'd be like, this is trout water. And you're correct, this is lake trout water. This is a lake trout lake. And while we've been targeting walleye, been targeting muskie, gonna target some bass yet. It's, it's a place to come target lake trout probably more than anything. It's deep water, it's clear water. It's got a ton of bait fish. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. We're kind of driving around. Aiden gave us a spot to check out near the lodge. You don't have to go too far to find deep water. It's kind of everywhere. So we're watching our graph, driving around on that 60 to 70 feet of water, and we're gonna be dropping down some blade baits on them, vertical. Here's a couple fish. So hit bottom and then reel it up like 10 feet, 20 feet. There's some big marks down there, guys. There's a couple fish. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh wow. Oh wow. Do you want okay. a neck? Okay, sure. I take Should it back. I, reel in? I take it. Yes, yes. Oh, that's bigger than I thought. Oh, that's a nice trout. That guy absolutely gobbled that blade bait. I'm gonna get it out first. That's what did it. Recommended by Aiden. A little blade bait. We had vibrating through the water column, and these fish are very, very aggressive. Beautiful Manitou Weather Station Laker. That did not take long. Got it? Yeah. All right, we're gonna put it back. <laughs> that was like video games. We're just driving around until we're marking specific fish. And I mean, we drove around for two minutes, lost one, caught one. That was, that was better than I expected. Okay, there's a fish on the bottom. Let your bait down, come look at this, Sam. Just let your bait fall. Let it fall, let it fall, let it fall. Okay, look, stop, stop right there. See, there's a fish underneath you. Give it a couple of rips. There's a lake trout down there. So right there, there's a fish. Right there is what I'm looking at. Soon you'll see my jig dropping down. That's real time, right there. There's one streaking up so fast. Oh my goodness. Yep. No! What's wrong with my same exact one? <laughs> All right, trout number two, probably like a five, six pound average size. Such a good fight to catch them on light spinning gear. All right, perfect eating size right there. Oh, 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 perfect eating size, wow. All right, Sam, I'm not dropping down, you're catching one. Jay has two TVs he can watch and I have zero. Are we giving up on trout? Giving up. That was a quick effort. That was a very quick effort. Well, giving up in the sense that Jay caught two. Yeah, really great. I trout. lost one. And we were here for half Six. an hour. Yeah, not even. What's next? On to the next spot. Muskie. We have a 45, 50 inch lined up for you. I probably look like a boy. Can we not film it like this? <laughs> you look like a hot boy. Yeah. You know you had it. What day is it? Last day. In paradise. What do you want to do this morning? We're going to go look for a muskie and maybe some trout and maybe a pike for shore lunch. There you go. And then shore right. lunch. All right. You got a rod. I got a rod. We're going to drive around and wait till we mark these fish. 
do it video game style. Spades just drop so fast. Oh, there's a suspended fish. Real couple feet. Oh, he's chasing me. Got him. Yay! We got a trout. We got one. Do you want the net? Yeah, sure. That's a perfect shore lunch size. Lift. Nice. Saw that suspended mark come above the jigging spoon, reeled up to it, and as soon as I reeled past him, he was just chasing as fast as he could. That's the thing about lake trout, they can, they can swim faster than you could reel. All right, this is a perfect eating size. This guy is going in the well. Perfect little smoking size, eating size, shore lunch size. All right, should we go musky fish? Somebody put a bathtub here to mark a rock. It's kind of cool. What do you think, Sam? Do you bring your bathing suit? Do you think that's better? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she made it in the tub. Okay, bye. You're looking good, Sam. <laughs> this is great. Give me a smile. You know how there's a spot called the bus stop? I think this could be called the bath stop. It is time for shore lunch. Why are you so weird? Not a good angle. Shore lunch time. Sam, what time is it? Shore lunch time. <laughs> Aren't you more excited? Shore lunch time. Sam, take your trope. I don't want it. What? So we've been married for a year now. Do you know what my favorite meal is? Shore lunch. Yes. Nice spot. Oh, wow, there's a bear. Chef Chris and Chef Aiden whipping up some trout. We got some pike, we got some beans, we got some corn. What's going on? Oh, I love Frank's. What you got? Give me a rundown. Frank's potatoes, brown beans, corn, fish. What would you give it? What would you rate it out of 10? 10. 10 out of 10. It's exactly what this belly needs. Amazing shore lunch, thanks to the crew. Uh, we're pretty much, pretty much done. We're gonna pack up and make our way back to the landing. Yeah, this trip went very, very quickly. I can't thank the crew at Mantu Weather Station Lodge enough for the hospitality. Just a few months ago, I'd never heard of this place before, but now I can say it will definitely not be forgotten. The combination of clear water, the incredible variety of species, and the amazing accommodations. This was such a great trip I was able to share with Sam in beautiful sunset country.